For all your tea sipping needs, don't forget to go on to lovelytea.net or amazon.com forward slash shops forward slash lovely tea. And also don't forget if you are interested, we do have a few holiday tea boxes left. Thank you guys so much for the support and stay tuned for the video. All right, so welcome to Lovely News Network and we have another story that's coming from our first favorite state, Ratchet Ass Florida, okay? So anyhow, what's going down in Ratchet Florida, you ask? What's going down is this. We have a mother and a daughter duo, honey, okay? A 40-year-old mother and her 22-year-old daughter. They both have boos who are in the, you know, the state prison. So instead of them, you know, just putting money on their books like most normal people do, they decided to get a drone. Yes, a loud-ass drone. Fill it with contraband, you know, put cell phones in there, weed, and whatever other contraband they decide to put in there. Then they have the nerve to basically pilot the drone. The drone crashed on the roof of the prison, and then these bitches kept driving around the prison trying to figure out how they're going to get the drone down, okay? So this entire situation is a hot damn mess. They were caught and arrested. Now they're being charged with some serious charges, okay? Y'all go ahead and check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. A mother and daughter in Florida have been arrested after being accused of flying a drone packed with contraband to a state prison. Cassandra Kerr and Sanchetta Didiano were apparently trying to spread some holiday cheer after they allegedly landed their special delivery on the prison's roof. The Martin County Sheriff's Office says the two were attempting to deliver tobacco and cell phones to Kerr's husband, although prison guards noticed the drone and alerted the Sheriff's Office. The duo were found driving around outside the Martin Correctional Institute. According to authorities, the two women did admit to buying the drone on eBay and attempting to deliver contraband to the prison. Kerr has been charged with introducing contraband into a correctional facility, while Didiano was charged with aiding in the effort. I swear, you can't make this shit up coming out of Florida. This straight up sounds like a movie, okay? I mean, it's like, who the hell uses a drone? First of all, a lot of drones tend to be noisy. And then second of all, there are cameras literally on every part of a prison, outside and inside, watching everything go down. How did these women think they weren't going to be caught? You know, and then once it got into the prison, how were you going to get it to the, you know, to the prisoner? Because even if it had landed on the ground, there's cameras everywhere. So it's not like the prisoner could have just ran and picked up his damn package via drone. It's like, this makes no sense. Bitch, I was better off using a damn catapult. You know what I'm saying? Putting the damn phone in the catapult and then just letting that shit go. How are we going to get over those walls? Do it! Time zone, you know? Fire! <laughs> I mean, it's like, what were these women thinking? And then the fact that the young woman is 22 and her 40-year-old mother had, saw no issues with this. I can see the young woman being dumb and, you know, trying to, you know, come up with this scheme. But the fact that her grown-ass mother co-signed this and now they're both looking at time, what's going to be so funny is that when they get locked up for this function, they end up in the women's prison. Who's going to be putting money on their books? Who's going to be looking out for them? Nobody. It's like women go so hard for these dudes out here, especially the ones who ain't shit. And it makes no sense because if the roles were reversed, best believe a man nine times out of ten is not going to wait for a woman who's in prison. And then nine times out of ten, they're damn sure not going to risk their freedom by trying to use a drone and send them some contraband. These women are stupid as hell. There are better options putting money on these guys' books and then calling it a damn day. If these guys really wanted a cell phone, they should have done like what most prisoners do. Bribe the damn guards, okay? We know damn well that's how these damn cell phones are getting into prison. The damn guards are the ones sneaking him in. So he should have been bribing the guards, not using them to basically fly him in a cell phone because now his outside connect, his outside hookup, they're about to do some damn real time. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire ratchet-ass situation, honey. Once again, coming from our first favorite state, ratchet-ass Florida. I swear you can't make this damn shit up. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.